So in today's video, we are going to be talking about an order that I placed with Natura Market. But just before that, I need to say a welcome back. It has been so long since we've done a video. I think the last time we did a video was November um, of last year. It was a lengthy process. We really just kind of had to step back after starting and we really wanted to learn a little bit more about how to um, efficiently expand, you know, Nancy's Pantry and, and efficiently use social media to get ourselves out there and the success that we really want for Nancy's Pantry. And the other thing is we were using the upstairs kitchen and unfortunately some of our videos required a lot of our family because it is a communal space we kind of required our family to kind of like be quiet no one was allowed to watch tv and i felt so guilty about that that people couldn't just come and go as they pleased in this communal space so what we decided to do is we wanted to revamp our kitchen here in the basement um, in our basement apartment and we wanted it to be the new nancy's pantry space you know what i'm saying nancy's pantry needs its own place um, unfortunately we haven't finished everything as i'm sure you can notice behind me but we will get there i promise we're always working really hard Hard, um, on trying to give you guys the very best another thing before we get started on what's in this box I do want to mention and I want to say a disclaimer that we are not being sponsored by Natura Market I was not paid we're not being paid to talk about them or their products we um, have no sponsorship with them so this video is not sponsored by them um, I mean I haven't been asked to do anything none of what's in here was gifted everything I bought with my hard-earned money so I'm showing these things to you guys um, number one because I love the products and number two um, just to show you some alternatives and where you could purchase it I want to talk a little bit about the website first and just a tiny bit the website is easy Natura Market has an easy flow website you can search via a specific lifestyle you live whether you're keto vegan whether you are whole 30 um, they have a whole slew of brands that have clean organic ingredients not everything is organic but they do have organic options and I like them because they're quite affordable nothing is like the type of thing where like you look at it and you're like, oh my God, I could never spend money on this. There are things that are worth the money there. And I find that in comparison to some of the other websites I've seen, or even in stores, their prices are very, very fair and com like comparable. So we are going to be doing, it's really funny because this is actually the second order I've ever placed at Natura Market. Our first one was like in February and we were supposed to do this video then, but then you know, shit happens life happens so we ended up having to eat all that stuff before it went bad and i decided that i was going to place another order and what i wanted to do today was i wanted to um i wanted to be like a first impressions first taste test now as you can see i've already opened the box because some of these lovely items my daughter is addicted to and she just couldn't wait to have the treat so i needed to share them with her but this order was placed i think Today is Friday. I don't know when you guys will see this video, but today is Friday. This order was placed Wednesday. And because of the amount that I was spending on the order, I had the option of expedited shipping for free. So Canada Post delivered it to me this morning. So literally like place the order Wednesday afternoon and I got it in a day because it was delivered this morning, early this morning. So let's get started on this box. So first off, what I do want to say is that the way that they package the items is amazing. Um, I thought that they're, that this box might have been like half full, but it's actually full to the top. They know how to package the items and you'll, you'll see soon with some of these items, the packaging and how they do it to ensure that nothing is broken. So you guys can see we have like, it mentions that it's heavy. And then on this side, it has a fragile sign because there are glass items in here. One of the cutest sentiments about boxes like these is this card right here. It basically gives you the name of the person who packaged your box. And it's just, it's, it's nice. It's nice to be able to have a note that shows you the name of the person to, so that you know that a physical person is the one who packaged your, your box and maybe not like a robot. It's just something nice. It's a little touch. My receipt. We've got two layers of this paper packing, which I'm just gonna throw on the floor here. And here we go. So I've got a multitude of different items. Some are sweet treats, some are kind of everyday things, and some are very new treats to me. So let me show you what I bought for my daughter because those items have pretty much already been open. Smart sweets are a must. Every time I place an order with Natura Market, smart sweets are the type of thing that 
um, I always order. And they have these new melon ones, the sour melon bites. Uh, my daughter loves those, but these are her absolute favorite. These are actually not my favorite. I personally don't like these very much. I do like the sour patch um, a variety of these ones, um, but these ones are also super delicious. And I love them because they don't have sugar. Um, like it's no sugar, like there's three grams of sugar, but it's not actual like sugar. They actually use, I believe, stevia. Yes, they use stevia. So um, a, uh, an alternative sweetener basically, but it's healthy for you and non-GMO, gluten-free, plant-based. You can't go wrong with something like this in comparison to Skittles and Sour Patch Kids and all of those things. So this is definitely a good alternative to that. The other thing I purchased to my, for my daughter is she absolutely loves marshmallows. So this is one of those things where she needed to open it today. Um, so I got these smash mellow strawberries and cream. She absolutely loved them. And let me tell you, when you open up this container, it smells fantastic. This is the strawberries and cream flavor. They have a whole slew of like different interesting flavors. I really liked them. Um, and since my daughter loves to snack on marshmallows, I felt like this was, um, just a great treat. Um, it does have organic cane sugar. So for a serving of four, it's got 18 grams of added sugar. My daughter only had two, I think. So she got half of that. Um, it does have a lot of sugar, but again, this is something as a treat, it's, it's fun. It's something that's fun for kids. And if you can't get your children to eat very much of anything, not saying that this would probably be the only thing you'd wanna feed your kids, but just to have something that's fun every once in a while than just your standard white marshmallows from the store. <sighs> Let's get into some of these chips because these ones right here from Siete are my absolute favorite. I'm actually addicted to anything Siete. Um, they are a grain-free, um, company so pretty much everything that they make is grain free and what i love about them is the backstory of this family they had um, a young daughter who was ill and so they ended up trying to find ways to help her with her health and one of the ways was kind of going grain free and they found ways to make their traditional mexican or like um, hispanic um, food like tortillas tortilla chips um, you know, all of those types of things, they found a way to make it grain free where it's healthy for you using great ingredients. So this one right here is made with cassava flour, avocado oil, pumpkin powder, coconut flour, psyllium husk fiber, and sea salt. So great ingredients. And again, everything is gluten free, dairy free, grain free, soy free, vegan, and paleo. You can't go wrong with trying something like this. The last box that I ordered, I got the ranch style um, tortilla chips. And those were phenomenal. If you just meal prep a little bit of ground meat, chicken, beef, turkey, and just have a lunch where you have a handful of those chips and you dip it, so delicious. This is a great chip to try. Another chip that we've got are these, it's making a lot of noise, so I apologize for the noise here. Stretch it out once and for all. Um, we have, I think this is called Barnana. So these are really cool because these are plantain chips. So I know that most people are like, oh, it's just plantain chips, but they actually make them into like chips. So the last time I had the mango ones, these are just the plain Himalayan pink salt, but they're in the shape of tortilla chips. Um, so again, it's just something fun and interesting. I don't know that I would recommend the mango. I think it was like a mango habanero or something like that. It was kind of spicy. Um, I wasn't too pleased with a lot of the ingredients that they had in there, but this one seemed a lot better. Um, it has plantain flour, avocado oil, tapioca starch, Himalayan pink salt, and psyllium fiber. And pretty much every single ingredient is organic in this one. So zero sugars, zero added sugars, uh, 140 calories um, for a 28 gram serving. And apparently this bag has four servings in it. So this is a great treat again with a little bit of, you know, guacamole or hummus or a really nice dip of choice. These would be really yummy. So I'm actually gonna open it because remember we said that this was gonna be a first impressions, first taste test. And this is a different one than what I've tried the last time. And I'm actually gonna give my husband to try it too. I was hoping my brother-in-law would be here so that we could all try them and have first impressions, but he's a little busy at the moment. So I got a small one here. This is what it looks like. It, it definitely looks like a regular tortilla chip, but it's a plantain chip and you can tell. 
It's really yum. You want to try a bit? She thinks the party's over. Um, so, what do you think? I think they're good. They have a nice saltiness to them, but they're not like overly salty like some tortilla chips can actually be. You can taste the plantain on it. Mm -hmm. But you can definitely taste that it's plantain chips, but it's really yum. Should we open up the siete ones? You wanna try those? Okay, my daughter wants to try some too. That's okay. We'll do the first taste test with her as well. If I can open it, can I open it? I should have brought some scissors. I can't open it, babe. You want to try this one? Here, come try. Can I give you one? Here, daddy's going to give it to you, okay? What do you think? All right, I got a thumbs up, guys. The kids are going to love it too. So I got myself a little treat. I've heard so much about Maxine's Heavenly Cookies. And so I decided I wanted to try this one. This one's the peanut butter chocolate chunk. They're soft baked cookies just the way that I love them. And it says it only has six grams of, serve of sugar per serving. So it's 120 calories for one cookie. There's apparently eight servings in here. I don't know if that means that there's only eight cookies, but um, 120 uh, calories uh, per serving and it's got six grams of sugar. Four of those grams are added sugar. So there's two grams of naturally occurring sugar and the ingredients are really good. Um, it's got like gluten-free oats, peanut butter, it's got dates for sweetness, coconut nectar for sweetness. Um, you've got your chocolate chunks. You have organic coconut sugar, peanut flour, black seed. Oh boy, so many amazing things. Um, sea salt, baking powder. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty clean, guys. I mean, not every ingredient in here is organic, I believe. It doesn't specify that all of them are, are organic. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me, I can't talk today. Um, it does have some palm fruit oil, but they do have round table sustainable palm oil. So they're certified with that, which is great. I don't know if we should open this one. Do I really wanna open this one to taste test it? sweetened with coconut sugar and dates. Should we try that? Should I open it and, and try it? Okay, hold on, I'll take a bite, baby girl, and then I'll give you the rest, huh? You can try it out, okay. Let's let's do it. Oh, it's actually a pretty big cookie. Afternoon coffee or tea, It'd be really yum. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's phenomenal. Wow, I don't think I could have baked them any better myself. Here you go, baby girl. Can I have some of those candies? Not right now, sweetie. I'm telling you, the smart sweets are like her thing. She absolutely loves them. Okay, I got some other things which I'm hoping to make for meal prep. This looked really interesting. It's called right rice. It's basically rice made from vegetables. This is the Thai curry flavored one. This one is apparently made with a blend of lentils, chickpeas, peas, um, and funny enough, they say it's vegetables, but that's technically legumes, right? Aren't chickpeas and lentils leg like legumes, beans? Anyways, so lentil flour, chickpea flour, pea fiber, uh, rice flour, sunflower oil, sea salt, sugar, vegetable powders, you know, seasonings, so forth and so on. Um, again, none of it seems to be organic, but it is quite clean. Um, it does say sugar. Sugar is kind of way down the list and it says less than one gram of added sugar. So it's actually not a lot of added sugar in here. So this is a really great product um, when you don't have a lot of time. So I can't try this one today, but when we do make it, I'll tell you, I'll tell you all about it. It says for one third of a cup dry. Do you know how amazing it is to have people tell you what the calorie count is when things are dry? like when you're gonna dry measure it before you cook it, that's awesome because you can actually measure it according, like if you're somebody measuring your food, you're watching your calories, this is awesome. It's 180 calories, but it's got 10 grams of protein and five grams of fiber. This is great stuff. Hmm, I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't buy more than one. Um, let me move some of this stuff over here so y'all can see. Is it gonna fall? It's gonna fall, it's gonna fall. Just know that there's the chips back here, okay? Since we're talking about rice and carbs and stuff like that, I got the uh, banza, I was about to call it bonanza. 
but it's Banza Wheels. This is pasta made with chickpeas. I wanted um, to actually purchase this more for my daughter just because sometimes she does really only like, um, sorry, got something in my eye. She does like noodles. I don't know what it is with kids, but they love their noodles. They love pasta. And I like this one because it's made with chickpeas, so there's a little bit of protein. She's not really into the protein stuff. She'll eat chicken sometimes, but for the most part, it's all about the noodles or like the pasta. So this one's made with chickpeas and pea protein. I'm excited about trying that. Again, I can't taste test it today, but I will tell you all about it when I cook it. Pasta train. Here we go, here's another one. This is a super beef food pasta. So this one has red lentils and pumpkin, red lentil, pumpkin, and butternut squash. No, hold on, those are all the different ones. This is green lentil, cauliflower, and parsnips. So sorry, I was reading the back here, but apparently they have a whole slew of other um, different pastas in their lines. This one specifically was very interesting to me because it not only had lentils, it was made with cauliflower and parsnips. I thought that was cool. Plus there is 25 grams. Yes. Can I have this? You wanna try this pasta? Okay, I will make it for you. Ooh, a thumbs up from me. I'm the cool mom. Okay, um, so um, green lentils, cauliflower, parsnip. Um, I thought this was interesting. Again, there's 25 grams of plant-based protein per serving. The serving size is two ounces, 57 grams. I think the, they have the serving size based on dry or cooked. So that's also very interesting too. You don't see that a lot with um, a lot of other brands. Um, you know, and their nutritional facts. So again, if you're somebody watching your calories or you're looking at any of your other uh, macro or micronutrients, then this is definitely um, a good company to go for. I'm excited to try this, to be honest, because I love alternatives to regular carbs. It just makes it easier for me. I find that as I've gotten older, regular carbs are just not good for my stomach. I just have a hard time. Kid friendly. We've got some organic zoo pasta. I think this one is just made with just regular wheat. I don't think there's anything um, special about this one other than, yes, organic durum wheat flour. It's organic, it was in zoo shapes. I can never find stuff like this at No Frills or you know any other store. It was well worth the money because just a handful of this with a little bit of tomato sauce or something, I'm pretty sure she's gonna eat it all up. So I'll tell you all about this when I cook it up. What else do we have in here that's not pasta? Ooh, okay, so I find sometimes that we forget that our, chil our, our, our husbands are just as much our children as our own children are. So my husband picked this <laughs> out of the whole website to try out, and these are chocolate strawberry granola bars. These are school approved because they are peanut free. They're 50% less sugar than your regular, you know, granola bars you can find. They're tree nut, peanut, gluten-free, dairy-free, non-GMO. So um, I believe they are not organic, but the most interesting thing about these granola bars is they actually contain servings of fruits and veggies. So this is a lot like Made Good, but this is a different brand. This is Healthy Crunch, and um, it even says here fruits and vegetables. So they do use, um, they, they, they kind of hide a little bit of a vegetable blend. So they have um, onion extract, broccoli, kale, cranberry, raspberry, they kind of hide it in there. So your kids are kind of getting a little bit of greens. They don't even know it. This is a great way to do it. You can get your husbands to eat greens too. Just buy that for them. Um, do you want to open that? Do you want to try that out, babe? Or? I want to try something. Okay, so we'll, I'll let you know how this goes. I'll let you know. Another interesting thing I bought for my daughter was I've seen um, another YouTuber um, give his daughter banana milk. I was like, banana milk? What is he talking about? He's talking about this. He's talking about muala, muala, mulala. I don't even know how to pronounce this, but this is great because it's a plant-based milk, but it's nut-free made with real bananas. It's just so interesting. I don't know, like it seemed like something interesting and I feel like my daughter would love it. Plus it has no added sugar. So it's, it's awesome. I, I want to try it and I can't wait till she tries it. It's got filtered water, organic bananas, organic sunflower seeds. That's it. It has 60 calories per serving of one cup. 
vegan, dairy-free, gluten-free, lactose-free, soy-free, carrageninan-free, which is so important when you have little kids because carrageninan or carrageninan, I don't even know how to pronounce it, carrageninan, it really messes up their gut um, and their gut bacteria. So to keep your children's gut bacteria really good for you know their developing bodies, you really wanna stay away from this stuff because carrageninan is disastrous on kids' gut flora. It's also nut-free and of course non-GMO. I'm excited, I might even sneak a little peek myself when we open it. Um, do you guys wanna try it now or? I wanna try. You wanna try it, baby girl? No? Daddy's saying no, not right now. How about we try it tomorrow morning and we'll let everybody know if you like it. <laughs> we'll try it tomorrow morning and we'll let everybody know if you liked it, okay? Okay. Yeah, it does have to be refrigerated after opening, but it can be on the shelves because it didn't come in any sort of packaging to stay cold. So I'm pretty sure that's what that means. I bought this for myself because I see Nicole from Health Nut Nutrition always munching on these things. I've never been a big like Ritz peanut butter sandwich person, but I love peanut butter and I really wanted to try them. So these are just the peanut butter mini sandwiches. No artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives by late July. I do love a lot of their chips. Um, the late July chips are awesome. Now, I wanna talk to you guys a little bit about the ingredients in this. So I bought this just to try it, but if you're someone who um, is really against palm oil, this might not be a product for you. They are using expeller pressed organic sunflower oil, which hallelujah, more companies need to be using that. Um, they're using organic peanuts. Um, they're roasted. They have organic evaporated cane sugar, but it's the organic palm oil. If you don't know, palm oil, it has to be the red palm oil, which is actually less invasive, not only on Mother Earth, but also it's the better of the palm oils for you to ingest. So just regular organic palm oil. I'm a little disappointed about that, but again, I'm not gonna be eating this every day. It is a treat and I can't wait to try them. We have so much more to go, guys. Should I just move this box? You know what? I'm gonna move the box. I'm gonna put it right here on my stove. And we are going to let you guys take a look at all of these beautiful things that we've got here. And we're gonna look at some of the other things that are still left. So this product right here, I actually bought it mainly for myself because I do like collagen. I have a jar of this company's collagen. They're, um, you know, just regular collagen powder. And it's the flavorless one. So I like to add it to my coffee, usually in the morning or in the afternoon or sometimes both. Um, I believe, it's kind of personal to you, but honestly, once you hit your 30s, get on the collagen. If you can start even younger, good for you. Start younger and keep it going because collagen is so important for your hair, for your nails, for your skin. It's so important for your joints, your bones, your gut. It's just so good for you in so many different ways. This is one of those things that you just wanna have on hand because when you make a smoothie, when you have a coffee or a tea, if you have the unflavored one, you will not even notice it. It will just dissolve right away and you know that you're getting some really good nutrients. It's also a source of protein, so you're getting a little bit of protein along with your coffee. This one was really interesting because it is an electrolyte and enhanced collagen product together. So I love that because lately we've been drinking um, electrolyte products um, just to kind of give us a little bit of an energy boost in the afternoons and things, and to obviously rehydrate rehydrate, re, you know, put all the electrolytes back into our body that we've been using all day long um, and to give us that boost. So this one is the, I think it's like the juicy strawberry peach flavored one. Um, this was actually, I think the cheapest at Natura Market. It was quite expensive everywhere else. So they had a really good fair um, price for this product and Organica has really good quality collagen. I really do trust them. I used, like I said, their regular collagen um, already. Okay, so I've got something fun in these wrapped right here. We're almost done, guys. This video might be a little bit long seeing as it's our first video back, but I'm just gonna take out one for now. Um, this one, and I got a different flavor. My brother-in-law asked me to purchase the lemon flavor for him. 
and I ended up getting my husband's favorite uh, flavor, favorite flavor. God, Nancy, speak English. Uh, my husband's favorite flavor is obviously everything mango. So I got this mango one. These are fat nutrition. So fat with a pH. Okay. These are keto drinks. Uh, well, this one is anyways. Um, this is organic tea, MCT oil, electrolyte drinks. So it's like a sparkling iced tea, but you're getting some electrolytes. There's some MCT oil for um, energy, you know, proper like brain function, things like that. And it is so good. Um, so it's got carbonated water, modified coconut oil, which is the MCT oil. You have your medium chain triglycerides, MCT. Um, it's got monk fruit juice concentrate, which is obviously the sweetener in here. The sugars are zero grams of sugar because they are using monk fruit. They also have stevia um, in here. They've got organic ground green tea, pink Himalayan pinks, uh, Himalayan pink salt and citric acid. They also do have some natural flavors, which it's not ideal, but natural flavors is one of those ingredients where it's really hard to run away from. So I'm gonna put these in the fridge and hopefully we'll be able to taste and try them out. I'm definitely gonna try the mango. Unfortunately, when you order on the Natura Market um, website, you have to order a minimum of two at once. So that's okay. One for me, one for the hubby, and these two, my brother-in-law can definitely try it out. This is the I see the, the Sicilian lemon flavor. This one is specifically says keto. The ingredients are a little bit um, different, but honestly, not that much more different. Water, acacia fiber, your medium chain triglycerides. It's the same thing. I don't really know what's keto about this, maybe because it doesn't have any sugar. That could possibly be it because it doesn't really have a lot of calories. This is 15 calories for this whole can. So, yeah. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna pull all three of these things out and we're just gonna show you because this packaging is insane. Hopefully nothing drops off of my little island here. Okay, let's start with this one because I did unwrap this one a little bit. This is a jar of, get away from the microphone so you guys don't hear all the paper rattling, but the wrapping is amazing for glass jar items. Come on, here we go. Frontera, I think you guys have heard me talk about this brand before, Frontera, I've seen it at Walmarts. Um, this is a tomatillo sauce, so roasted serrano and cilantro peppers. It's a medium. It's basically like a green um, Mexican uh, sauce and I'm excited to try this. I have the idea of like chicken with this green sauce some onions, you know, and I think it's gonna be spicy and yummy and I'm really excited about trying this in um, cooking. Oh, so much wrapping. And this is what honestly really makes it not break in a box. And this wrapping can definitely be reused, okay guys? Like, I could definitely reuse that, trust me. So here I've got Chosen Foods. This is the Baja Goodness Dressing. It's jalapeno garlic and pure avocado oil. So this is really interesting because I have been wanting to try Chosen's salad dressings for a while. Their ingredients are insane. Insane. Um, I mean, avocado oil as a first ingredient. Do you know how hard it is to find avocado oil in a lot of other popular brands and popular food items like mayonnaise? I had to order mayonnaise this, this week that supposedly is made with olive oil, but the first ingredient is canola oil. So they mix canola oil along with the olive oil to make the mayonnaise. It's just difficult to find anything pure, but this is a salad dressing made with pure um, avocado oil, water, lemon juice, tahini, apple cider vinegar, pickled jalapenos. Ooh, spicy. Um, and lime juice, sea salt, garlic, uh, parsley, jalapeno, rosemary extract, celery seed extract. It does contain sesame seeds, so if you are allergic, you can see all of these things online. You can literally, when you go to their website, you can um, search for a food item and it'll give you all of the nutritional facts and all of the ingredients. So um, I wish I could open this for you right now, but I don't really have a bowl of salad. So when I eat some salad, I will definitely let you know about that. You know what we didn't try though? We didn't try the peanut butter um, crackers and I am all for trying these because I've been waiting a long time, you know, since Wednesday for these to come in. 
Can I open these? Are these going to be an easy bag to open? Oh, yes. Ooh, they are really mini. They kind of just look like the Ritz peanut butter cracker sandwiches. Mmm. I can see why Nicole loves these so much. They're super yummy. They're not as salty as the Ritz ones. I find that the Ritz crackers are super salty and like super buttery. These definitely have the crunch and the butteriness, but they're not super salty and the peanut butter is bomb. Last item. My husband's favorite. Wing sauce. Yay. <laughs> so Primal Kitchen, we tried their mango. What was it? Mango jalapeno or something sauce. I think I've showed you guys um, what, you know, in one of those like what I eat in a day type things um, on Instagram stories. We finished that one. That one did not last very long. Um, so we wanted to try this Hawaiian style barbecue sauce. It is organic, Whole30 approved, non-GMO, keto certified, paleo certified. It has no high fructose corn syrup or cane sugar. So I love it because it doesn't have any of those things. <sighs> what does it have? Tomato puree, pineapple juice concentrate, date paste, which is obviously the sweetener. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know why my nose is so itchy today. Apple cider vinegar, coconut aminos, which I'm having such a hard time finding. Everybody keeps showing those coconut aminos and I really wanna try them, but can't find them. Sea salt, you have yellow mustard, a bunch of spices. That's it. There's nothing else in here. This is as simple as it can get and I cannot wait. The mango one is delicious. It is so addictive. I cannot imagine what this one's gonna be like when we barbecue some chicken wings. That is coming up very soon. I am excited about sharing this sauce with the rest of my family. So that's basically it for my order. There's nothing else in the box. This is basically what I've ordered from Natura Market. I am looking forward to my next order once we finish all of this stuff, because this is gonna take us a little bit. <laughs> and of course we have to stick within budget. So I'm excited to try all of these things. You know what? I didn't even try the damn marshmallows. I'm gonna try one too. I know it's for my daughter, but I'm gonna try one too because why can't her mom try a damn marshmallow that she bought? Why? Are these only for kids? No. Does it say it's only for kids? No, Nancy, it doesn't. So I'm gonna try one. Shouldn't have done that because these are damn good. Oh my God. I don't wanna share them anymore. These are really good. So good, no wonder she loves them. They're really good. In terms of all the other products here, we will definitely cook them up. We'll try them out. We're gonna let you guys know um, how it goes. And then that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what we've ordered with Natura Market. Please, 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 if you can, just check out their website, find some items that you're really interested in, purchase them. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. I'm still trying to chew the <laughs> marshmallow. So before you leave, please subscribe to our channel, follow us on our social media accounts, click that bell icon so that you are reminded every time we have a new video posted and don't forget to comment and like our video. Give us a thumbs up. Okay guys, take care.